Hi everyone, uh, my name is Justin. Today I'm going to t show you guys how to make a simple pixel character sprite. This can be used for platformers, uh, whatever you really want. I'm actually using it uh, as my Skype picture and my YouTube picture. So anyways, we're going to get started. I'm using the original version of Paint. It doesn't matter what you use as long as it has like, this tool where you can make these. So, um... Today, I'm, we're just going to start with the simple outline. So, we're going to make one of these. This will be, like, the head. Green will be, like, skin. Uh, red is hair. Blue is shirts. And, like, dark blue is pants. Purple is shoes. But, it can be whatever you guys want. It, just, it really doesn't matter. So, I'm just going to do... I'm just going to open up the grid. Control G and paint. And... Oops. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, there we go. So now we got our neck right there. Uh, we're gonna make the hair. So, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna make it like a normal, like, anime-ish hair or something. It doesn't matter what kind of hair you make. So, this will be the hair. And now, um, we're not gonna draw the eyes yet, that'll come later. But we're gonna draw the shirt now. So, it's just gonna be, you know, just a normal shirt, doesn't matter. So, yep. Okay, right, and, uh, my canvas size right now is, um, 64 by 64. It can be whatever you guys want, because that's whatever. I just like using 64 by 64. So, we're gonna make this arm smaller to appear that it's, um, it's on the other side of the character like it's behind him sort of so yeah and there we go now we have that arm smaller uh there's not going to be a lot of detail going into the arms so we're just going to make that an arm let me do that all right and like this can like have as much detail as you guys want it doesn't matter at all and now we're gonna get on to pants. Uh, these are pretty simple. Just whatever. So, yeah. They don't have to be smaller or anything. I just like doing it like that. And apparently our character is even because this does not look right. But I don't really care that much right now. So, oops. Actually, yeah, let's fix that. It's sort of bothering me. So... And there. Whatever, that looks sort of weird, so. We're just gonna go with. I'm sorry that this is taking so long, so we're just gonna go with that. Um, let me fix that. Alright, now we're gonna make the shoes. So, these are the shoes. And. Now we're almost done here. There. Now we have shoes. Uh, this one can be a little bit bigger. Uh, we'll fix that later. Now we're gonna get on to coloring. Uh, I have a, I have a, um, palette. Uh, I don't remember who made it, but I'll leave, like, a link to, like, a download if I can find one. If I can't find one, I'll upload it to, like, Dropbox or something. I'm sorry if someone's, like, using this. But yeah, uh, and if you guys saw that template first, split second, that's, like, an RPG character template I made. Uh, for when I decide to make an RPG or something. So, we're gonna use this for the skin. Just open back up our guy. And what I like to do with the palettes when I'm using them is I like to figure out how big it is, then make the canvas around it and the character. So, there we go. Let's uh, get rid of the grid for a second so I can see what I'm doing here. Uh, we're gonna use this dark part for the skin, so we're just gonna bucket fill this all in, and now we're going to use uh, the second lighter one for like the actual skin. Then we're gonna use this one for like a darker shade, and to go along the hairline to give it like a little shading effect or something. So. Oh, dang it. All right, there. Now we gotta 
make this go all the way around the hairline so let me do this really quickly it shouldn't take that long can't really notice it that much but whatever and there so now we have like the skin or wait a second wait a second oops I almost forgot the neck gotta make the neck there alright now we have the skin so let's get the hair uh, hair color will be brown because brown is my hair color not this shade of brown though because whatever uh, for my character I use the shade of brown oops I use the shade of brown right here so anyways we're gonna move this into here and let's get the dark shade so the, it's basically the same process for every part you get like the darker shade for the outline then you um shade it in well only for the head I usually only for the head I like to shade it in but you can shade in anywhere it doesn't matter so right here uh, I'm sorry you guys hear my mouse clicks I need to get like a headset or something and there so there's our head um Let's make an outline real quick. Not outline, I mean shade. Uh, I'm going to use pencil because I don't like using the line tool that much. Oops. Am I fully zoomed in? Yes, I am. Alright, I just needed to make sure. Uh, sorry if I'm like, getting a little bit boring or something. Uh, because, whatever, I don't know. So that's the basic hair. Uh, we're going to use brown for the eyes. So eyes can look whatever you want. They can just be this, which is usually what I do. Or you can get like white and make it like an anime eye or something. I don't know. Make them looking this way. Maybe try doing like a Pokemon anime type thing. Actually, that looks that does not look right, but uh, okay, that looks like okay. Right. No, well, whatever. You guys get the point. And let me get rid of that because that really looks like a girl anime eye. I don't exactly remember how to make boy anime pixel arts that much anymore. I haven't done it in a long while. Now we're gonna. Gonna give him like a um, we're gonna give him an orange shirt. So let's go ahead, select this, Control C, Control V. Um, there we go. Uh, we're gonna give him this outline. So there, that looks good. We're gonna put like a G on it for like uh, I don't know like Game Grumps I guess is it's like an orange background on their channel. I always found that cool. So let me just make a nice little G right here. There we go. And we're gonna give them pants. We don't really need the color palette on this one. So, yeah, we already used that color. So let's make that darker than that. Now he has pants. And we're just gonna give him some red shoes. I'll just, just gonna make this easy. Let me just now. Usually you would make these darker, but I'm not going to for, for the sake of time. But anyways, now we're done with that. Uh, let me get this back down to 64. Um, get rid of that. And there's our character. Now you guys can like, I don't know, like give him a color background or something. I'm gonna make it green because green is my favorite color. And if you guys wanted this to be like your, I don't know, profile picture on Facebook or something, you guys would, uh, I don't know, maybe put this into like the newer version of Paint. Uh, I'll just make a quick demonstration on that. Save. YouTube thing. Uh, we're gonna save it as PNG. Now we're gonna open up. Um, 
Neat. There it is. And don't save. And what you're gonna do here is resize pixels. Uh, I'm pretty sure Facebook needs a total pixels of 200 something. So we're just gonna make this. No, oh, yeah, we don't have a calculator. We really suck at math sometimes. So it's 64 times eight equals five twelve. So five hundred and twelve. And now you have your pixel character, you can put that on like any website really, it doesn't matter. Because most of them need a uh, size. I know Twitter, I'm pretty sure Twitter doesn't need a size, but that's basically the whole uh, tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Justin, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.